I just got married a week and a half ago. Yeah, thank you. It's crazy, man. Getting married? It's great. I love it. By the way, a week and a half ago, if you're doing the math, that is correct. We are currently honeymooning in Winnipeg. Yeah. We heard it was beautiful this time of year. Thank you. That's when I knew she was a keeper when she agreed to that. But no, it's good. She's a, she's a good girl, man. I knew I had to hang on to her. She's had to put up with a lot of different things. Like, I'm the first guy with hearing aids she's ever been with. You know, I think. I've never asked. But uh, I'd be jealous if I found out I wasn't. I'd be like, was this son of a bitch deafer than me? You tell me right now. Now, she's got it good, too. There's some good things, you know. She, uh, I take my hearing aids out when we go to sleep. She can fart all night long, no problem. <laughs> gets a little out of hand sometimes. I'm like, you know I can still smell, right? Uh, uh, pillow talk's a lot different, because I take them out when we go to sleep, and I'm like deaf, like deaf as shit, you know? And uh, that's a medical term, but... Um, <laughs> So when I take them out at the end of the day, like pillow talk is a lot different. Like there's no casual transition from talking into sleeping. When I take my hearing aids out, talking time is over. <laughs> sleeping time has begun. We even have a little ritual we do now where before I take them out, I'll make like a last call. I'm like, hey, baby, you got any final thoughts on the day? Or any closing remarks? Because I'm about to shut this shit down. It's not all fun and games. She said something to me recently that kind of shook me a little bit. I'd never even thought of it. She said, when we go to sleep at night, when you take your hearing aids out, I feel alone. I feel very alone. I was like, whoa, alone. Baby, no, you're not alone. Don't ever forget that. I'm right there beside you. And if anything happens in the middle of the night, anything at all, I need you to save me. <laughs> You're not alone, don't ever forget that. I need you so bad. In fact, I'm gonna need you to start sleeping with your contacts in, please. We're very vulnerable right now. I take out my hearing aids, you take out your contacts. As a unit, we've gone full Helen Keller. Right? <laughs> Not good. She's got this weird thing where she can't fall asleep unless the bedroom door is completely shut. Even if it's only open a couple inches, she can't fall asleep. It weirds her out. I don't understand it. I asked her, I said, why do you need the bedroom door to be completely shut? And she said, well, what if we like wake up in the middle of the night and there's just some like guy standing in the doorway of our bedroom. And I was like, that's information I'd like to have. You know? <laughs> You're okay if the door's shut and he's just standing behind it? <laughs> like in this scenario you're envisioning, this man has already breached the front door of our apartment. You're cool with him rummaging around the place. Just don't look at us. I don't agree with that. If somebody actually did break in, we'd be so dead, man. I'm like the least protective husband in the world. Because even when I put my hearing aids in, they don't turn on right away. There's a five second delay. For real, I press the power button five seconds and then they turn on, but then they don't even turn on right away. It's five seconds and then a song and then they turn on. For real, a little jingle plays. It's five seconds and then it's like doo 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 and then they come on. I've grown to love the song. It's like, you can hear now. It's nice. <laughs> the point is, there are times in life where you can't afford to wait five seconds and a jingle. You know, you need to hear right away. Like if there was actually some guy in our apartment, my wife's shaking me, trying to wake me up. I'm like, oh, oh, what am I supposed to do? One sec, dude. Five, four. Uh, what can I help you with? No. 
Oh, you're stabbing me. Oh, okay. That makes sense. 